extra constitution, midterm elections, according to me, according to everyone, uh, is, is, a, is a very constitutional uh, way of removing a government and uh, um, uh, having uh, a fresh mandate. And if there is a, a change in the House, okay. the changes in the House, that is also constitutional. But what we have signed uh, with People's Party in COD, that we will not conspire with an extra constitutional, uh, uh, for an extra constitutional change. And, you're and we, are, we, we, we are sticking to that. We are not doing anything which and is extra... And no member of is, your party is conspiring it, against no, the no, PPP, no, 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 along no. with no. I, I think I mean, Mian Nawaz Sharif underwrites that, you know. He underwrites that, that nobody will conspire with, 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 the, with, the, with the army or with any, 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 uh, um, anybody else uh, who, who, who uh, preaches or who, who's uh, trying to bring about an constitu uh, uh, extra constitutional change. We will not... We, our, our best option, as I said earlier, is, is that in-house, in no. Right. The People's Party should perform. That's the best option. All right. They should continue in power. They should perform. They should refrain from these uh, corruption uh, scandals. They should act upon the, the, the dictates of the Supreme Court, the judgments of the Supreme Court. So the, these are all things, if they abide by those things, we have no quarrel with them. We have no, we have no grouse against them. Khwaja Asif will talk about the mistakes committed in the past and the future strategy of his party on crucial national and international issues, including the war against militancy. So stay with us. Faisab, let's move forward and let's actually look back now. During the Nawaz years, for example, 99, I'll take you back to 99. You were one of the people within the Nawaz Sharif government who warned Mia Nawaz Sharif against Musharraf. You actually said that he should be removed when Mia Nawaz Sharif made him chief of army staff. And you later on, uh, you know, uh, basically said that you never said that. However, would you today accept that you were one of the people who foresaw what will happen? I was not part of the decision making uh, process in those days. I, I would say at best I was uh, um, in, the, uh, in the second uh, tier of uh, leadership in those days. Uh, okay. I, I, I have enjoyed uh, a, a very good relationship with uh, Mia Nawaz Sharif and Mia Shabazz Sharif and uh, a personal so relationship. So you said you had no opinion at all? No, yeah, absolutely not. They, they, are, they are very kind to me and um, I have... But you had no opinion on Musharraf when he was appointed as Chief of Army no, absolutely not. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. But at the same time, many would say that you have not really pursued... No, it's, I think it's a, a bit unfair. Uh, uh, it's been unfair and uh, we, we will uh, pursue that course. Uh, maybe it's a bit late, but we'll uh, pursue that course. We'll bring him uh, to, to, to justice. How will you bring him to justice, Father Sir? We have already uh, uh, come out with the charge sheet the day before yesterday. That's and, right. And uh, we, we will go to the court. We will go to the court and uh, we will ask uh, the courts to uh, bring him back uh, through uh, Interpol or whatever, um, uh, extradition treaties or whatever. Uh, but he should be brought back and he, he has to answer uh, to the people of Pakistan you for the crimes he has committed. You come from a political family. You yourself have been in politics for so many years. Do you really believe that a general in this country, especially someone like General Musharraf, will be held accountable? This has happened in so many other countries, whereas um, uh, army is a very important institution like Chile. Look at what happened to well, Pinochet. Chile has come a long way. Have we come a long way? But th this will ultimately happen. It, it may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen day after tomorrow. But we have to go through that uh, motion at least uh, once to, to uh, make a clean break with our past. We must hold people responsible for their mistakes, whether they are the generals, whether they're, they're, they're generals or politicians. You know, what is really lacking in our system for the last 60 years is accountability, true accountability. But you know, now you're talking about accountability, and I would just like to ask you one thing. Do you think that the Pakistan People's Party is, in a way, compromised in protecting Musharraf simply because they have NRO. signed? Yes. NRO, yeah. So will they, the they, People's Party ultimately protect no. Musharraf even ma, ma, though, ma, 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 even though uh, there are members within the People's Party that blame 
president, former President Musharraf for at least criminal negligence in Benazir Bhutto's murder? Uh, you know, uh, this, this is this is really uh, uh, very because sad this is, thing. This is probably tough for uh, them. Uh, very very sad thing that while they were negotiating or signing COD with us. Simultaneously, they were negotiating NRO with the, with the, with the, uh, with, with Musharraf, with the army leadership, which is sad, you know. But we still we wanted to believe them. Uh, we, we 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 believed that uh, them and uh, Benazir then ultimately lost her uh, life, and people people's party till today has not pursued his uh, killers. Khwaja Sahib, you are a politician, and many would say that politicians do not take revenge. So when you talk of accountability, many would see it as perhaps revenge politics. And I want to quote to you something that you said in Urdu in March 2010. You said, Meri zindagi ne wafaq ki, to musharraf se infaradi aur ijtemai sare hisab chukayenge. Main hisab zarur chukayenge. I repeat that. You know, I, I endorse whatever I said uh, a couple of weeks back. I'll go to the court. I just need uh, uh, by yourself, uh, yeah, yeah, on yeah. your own, individual petition. Yeah, he 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 put me in, in uh, he incarcerated me for five months. I was uh, uh, in. I don't I don't want to narrate uh, my story, what happened to me, but the fact uh, is this: that when I was released, the chairman of NAB and the prosecutor of uh, NAB at that time, they both uh, regretted my arrest and my incarceration. They and are on record. Was the toughest five months of your life? No, I think it was in a way a blessing. You know, I I had uh, time to reflect. You know, that 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 gave me a uh, lot of strength. You know, a lot of strength. You know, I I don't regret my uh, incarceration. Um, that that was something. Uh, uh, in a way, it was a blessing for me. Uh, it it changed me uh, for better. But you so, know, to be fair, to be fair. Um, we had Mr. Asif Ali Zadari, whatever we may say about him. He was in jail here for 11 years. But Mia Nawaz Sharif, many would say, took the easy route out. And I'm just wondering that if I was part of his party and I was in, uh, in jail and my leader had left and gone abroad under some sort of a deal with the Saudis, I would be very resentful. No, I, I, I don't feel uh, that way because uh uh, he has uh, perhaps uh, no choice. He he was in the jail, and uh, Saudis asked, uh, as uh, uh, Musharraf said the other day in UK, um, uh, King uh, Fahad or uh, the present uh, king uh, requested uh, the government of Pakistan to uh, send uh, Myanmar Shri for there. But uh, this 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 was not for the first time that people left uh, country um, um, with, with with an arrangement. In 1982-83, I think uh, 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 Benazir Bhutto Shaheed and uh, Begum Nusrat Bhutto, they both That's left right. the, the, the arrangement, you know. So th this is nothing uh, uh, new. So it's, it's, it has happened in our politics uh, before also. So uh, we cannot accuse just one party of that. You know. Your party has been very suspicious of people within the Pakistan People's Party as well. One of them is Maktoum Amin Fahim, who is contender for the post of Prime Minister. And your party actually rejected him, saying that he could become a proxy of Musharraf. In fact, you were quoted as saying that Maktoum Amin Fahim met former President Musharraf on the day that Benazir Bhutto was assassinated. Mize, I, I don't want to comment on it because it happened and. Um, I had uh, definitive uh, information about that and uh, 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 my party uh, took a stand and um, I said this on record uh, that uh, we will not accept a prime minister who has a uh, relationship or connection with the uh, with, uh, Pravez Musharraf. We wanted uh, somebody uh, from People's Party who had, uh, you know, as for on this score, he was clean. So we voiced our